Deni la kitaifa linapoendelea kuwa kikwazo kikuu kwa serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Our challenge is nothing else but public debt which is unmanageable. This debt we did not make it ourselves. Naibu Rais Regathe Gashagwa ametangaza kuwa wanaendelea kuduruhusu hesabu za serikali ili kuafichua waliokopa hela nyingi kiholela na walivozitumia. Usemi huu unajia baada ya Rais Mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta kuikemea serikali ya Kenya kwanza kwa lawa mazao za kila wakati. When we tell the story because we are going to tell the story people will be shocked how 2 billion US dollars was taken from the central bank and put in a private bank that is responsible for the situation we are in the weakening of the shilling and people want to sit there and we know what they did and we had said let bygones be bygones but there's a good discussion we are going to have a good discussion we are putting the figures into place who took what and where so that the people of Kenya can know azimio pia imetakiwa kusaza shutu mazao na kuipa serikali ya Kenya kwanza jawabu la baadhi ya masaibu ambayo wanayapitia akiongeza kuwa mengi ya masaibu yale hasa madeni sio wao waliokopa ah these people shouting left right and center telling us to default so that we can be blacklisted as a banana republic are they telling us not to pay the euro bond are they telling us not to pay what we owe the local banks we want them to come and tell us don't just shout offer a solution these debts are on record we did not borrow as we were in the forest William Ruto alikuwa ametengwa nje he was not attending cabinet he was not attending the national security council he was not part of committing the country to those debts swala so, hili la madeni likiendelea kuibua maswala mengi gashagua meipongeza benki kuu ya dunia kwa kuwapa mkopo wa trilioni 1.8 kwa muda wa miaka mitatu yesterday the world bank made a huge pronouncement of 12 billion US dollars in the next three years concession alone on very low interest as opposed to trying to borrow money here from local, from local banks idara ya DCI na tume ya ISCC pia ikishauriwa kuajiri maafisa waliobobea kwenye nyanja mbalimbali ili wasiwe wanawaandama wa Kenya pasi na hatia it is true and is 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 very sad and i say that i want to once more to reiterate to acc and dci please hire professionals to be your investigators hire accountants hire procurement people who can advise you on how the investigation is going you find some of these policemen they have no idea about accounting you know so he, he is being asked to interrogate you and write statements on things that himself he cannot comprehend